Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. Today I've got a really nice makeover. The makeover today is inspired by 2022 new beginnings, new starts and a fresh start. Now I was inspired by the spa theme and the best thing that I ever love to do is go to a spa and so I thought why not bring the spa into the house. So I'd like to walk you around and show you a few things that I've done and hopefully it will inspire you if it's something that you want to do in your house. But before I show you around, the first thing I need to do is paint a wall. Let's decide on the colour. Right then, now we know what we're painting, let's go choose the paint. Let's pop off to Sherman Williams. Okay, so the first thing I decided that I wanted to do was to introduce a new colour into my living room. And I have lived with a charcoal grey on my TV wall for about three years. And I decided it was time for a change. So I looked at several different colours. I knew I wanted to introduce a green colour. So I went online and I looked at all the different uh, paint brands and I decided on Sherman Williams and I chose their colour of the year, which is Evergreen Fog. And this was actually their last year's colour. And this is called Urban Bronze. And these are the colours that they suggest that goes with the evergreen fog. So let me show you real quick. These are the colors. However, I've just introduced the evergreen. Now I have recently painted all of my entire house a very pale blue color. And I'm going to oh, zoom in right here. So this is the original color here. I'm keeping this color because I love it. It's a very calm neutral color and i've paired it with now the evergreen and i've introduced some white curtains also okay so when i went to the sherman williams store they have and i didn't realize they had so many choices they have about seven or eight different kinds of paint within that color range so i chose the cashmere one it was 63 dollars for a gallon and the lady in the store actually told me I would need to do two coats. However, I only did one coat and I think it looks pretty darn good. I don't think I need a second coat. And out of the entire gallon, I probably used about that much of the top of the gallon. So I'm very impressed. That color, that paint choice, the cashmere uh, type, can be stretched to do quite a lot. So, um, yeah, I'm thinking of introducing it in a couple of other places, but we'll talk about that later. Okay, so I have done a bit of a mini haul from Ikea. I've got some new cushion cut.
So I purchased this tray from my thrift store for $3.99. I thought it would be a nice little makeover to do for my coffee table. The first thing I did was I painted the entire tray with chalk paint so I could cover up that design. Then I went to Hobby Lobby and I bought a couple of colours of green, a silver and then a glitter paint. I mixed them together in a cup and then I poured some over the tray and then I literally, literally just tilted the tray from one side to the other until the entire tray was covered with the paint that I had mixed. I really enjoyed doing this project and as fun as it was just know that it's a very messy project you can see how much paint is on my tray underneath so uh, oh and look at my hands too Now I have two of these 20 by 20 pillows that I had in my bedroom. I'm gonna keep these covers on so I know where I've kept them, less storage issues. I'm just gonna put these vanilla ones right on top. Hello. Hello, hello. So I always like to change out my linen right after Christmas. It's a new start, new fresh start of the year. So why not introduce some white, green and black?
Okay, let's talk curtains. So I have introduced white curtains. I have never used white curtains before. I was a little bit nervous, but I'm so happy with them. So originally I had dark gray velvet curtains and behind I had a very pale blue. So I switched these out and the two curtains that I went for are, the white ones are the Tybast. Now they're $40 for two lengths of curtains and they're 57, uh, 57 inches by 98 inches. And I've gone for two pairs on one side to make it really full. So when I close them, I still have a lot of pleating in them. I can get away with just using one drop on either side. However, when I close them, it kind of looks like a sheet at the wall. There's not very many creases, not very many pleats. So I like them nice and full. So it costs a little bit extra. Um, so it was $40 for one side. And then behind it, I have this very pale sage green and they are Hannah, Hannah Lil and I'd have to look up the price because I can't remember how much these were but again uh, 57 inches by 98 and the reason I have three sets of curtains one I have the net curtains because it gets very bright in Las Vegas and this is basically just to keep the sunlight out and then this one is for the spring and the summer if we just want to close these in the evening there's a lot of reflection on our tv screen so i like to introduce a little bit of color and plus i didn't want the white and the white to be up against each other i wanted a bit of color to break in between because this is more of a true white and this is more of a cream white so i didn't want these to be up against these and kind of that white make these look dirty, if you get what I mean. So I broke it up with the sage green and I do need to still steam them. I did spray them with water this morning. I hung the, these at six o'clock this morning. So um, I do still need to steam these, but I wanted to get this video out today. So that's a job for tomorrow. So these curtains were from Ikea. I will link these in the description box if you wish to purchase them. And I'm very happy with them. And I just wanted to point out that these three curtains are ha hung on this rod system from Ikea. I also purchased this little candle holder, which I'm actually using as a vase. And also this little vase. I bought both of those from Hobby Lobby. They were 50% off. So I think I paid about $4 for each of those. I also did introduce some new foliage. So I bought this eucalyptus and I believe these are magnolia flowers. So I purchased those from Ikea along with these. And I have no idea what this is called, but uh, yeah, I bought two twigs of those. And this pot here, I actually purged from the back garden. I forgot I had bought that pot some time ago and I thought it would look perfect in the dining room. Now, because I did want to introduce more of a spa, serene, relaxing um, atmosphere to the home, I've introduced a lot more whites. Now, I already have the white Vesta system on the wall. I also have a white coffee table, but basically that was it for the white. So obviously I've introduced the white curtains. So I thought, well, I'll introduce some white cushion covers too. So again, these do need a good iron, but I introduced these white ones and I've paired them with the sage green. And both of these were from Ikea. I think these were $7.99, the velvet ones. And I think these were probably about the same. I'll look them up on Ikea and link them below. I think I may have got this from Hobby Lobby. Um, but I know I didn't spend more than $4. Oh, it was $3.99, that's right. So I've um, got a little candle in there that I burn. And obviously this little tray that I got from the thrift store that I made over. So the same time I did the tray, I also did this chopping board. So I thought I'd display that. Let me know in the comments if you try something like this for your house. Now, I actually forgot I had this picture. It was a set of two. So I thought I'd put this one 
here the chopping boards used to be here so i've moved them out the way and introduced a bit more floral design and i also purchased another larger one now this picture up here i found in the as is department at ikea there's a lot of reflection going on i don't know if you can see the picture properly but this was 14 dollars, and that included the frame too one of the things that I like to do, especially when we have guests over, is transform the TV. I mean, I really like this back wall, but it does look a bit of a monstrosity with that big black square slap bang in the middle. So let me show you what I do. So if you just type in framed pictures for TV, now let's pick one, kind of like that one. Perfect colours. Let's see if I fast forward it. Oh, yep. Yeah. So it looks like that's a one hour picture and it's broken into six segments. And I just seen another one pop up that says vintage art. That one's nice. But this is really nice. If you're having friends over, you don't have to look at this TV. And quite often in the summertime, if I have a pool party, I'll actually put a video of a beach in Hawaii just to set, this, set the mood. And this one, it actually has a frame too. I'm not sure if I like that one as much. Let me see if I fast forward this, whether this has, oh, it does too. Let me go back to this one. Oh, don't think I like the gold frame. It stands out too much, but you get my idea. Oh, look, I just found a modern art one. I mean, that really looks like a frame around my TV, doesn't it? That actually looks really good. Okay, that one's really nice. I like that one a lot. I'm really impressed. This really does look like I have a frame around my TV. Okay, that's the one I've chosen. Actually, no, that's the one I've chosen. Okay, so that, that finishes off my spa-themed TV wall. So one of my future projects, I do think I'm going to paint this cabinet the same color green as the back wall because i don't like that color cabinet in front of those white curtains so i think that might happen next week okay so now i've shown you what the room looks like i want to show you how i get my house smelling like a spa and i've got a couple of things here that i'd like to share with you so my first one is obviously candles we all love a good candle and this is bath and body works this is the aromatherapy stress relief let me show you that this one is eucalyptus and spearmint. So um, I burn this one, as you can see, <laughs> quite often. So this one's absolutely one of my favorite candles. But I also have a couple of room sprays that I use, and they're also from Bath and Body Works. This one is eucalyptus and tea, and this one you can actually spray on your pillow at night. So I do like to spray this around the house. And then this one, I believe, goes with the candle. It's uh, eucalyptus and spearmint. And again, this is a pillow mist, but I spray it around. But they actually do have um, little cans of room spray. They're very strong. And I also have uh, the eucalyptus and spearmint car freshener too. So <laughs> I do go overboard with things sometimes. And then the cleaners that I use also have a spa scent. So this one is lemon and mint, and this one is an all-purpose cleaner. And this one is a glass cleaner. It is lemon and mint also. 
And then I also have another one that is uh, lavender and bergamot. And that one is for, um, this one's glass, this one's all purpose. I think the other one's all purpose also, but it's lavender and bergamot. Okay, so now their room is looking like a spa and smelling like a spa. I like it to sound like a spa and I've got two little things that I like to use. One, right outside my patio door, I have a three tier small waterfall and I'll have that running so I can just hear very faintly the trickle of water which is very calming. And also I have a Google, um, I'm sure you can ask Alexa the same thing, but I asked my Google to play Native American pipe music and it is so zen and relaxing. I listen to that for hours on end and not even realise that it's still playing in the background and quite often I'll put it on when I'm cleaning too. <laughs> so it's very nice and I also do my yoga here on the floor. Um, you know, I'll put on a, a yoga class or I find one on YouTube and just sit and play my, my Native American music. I'll do my yoga and I have my waterfall just playing, just playing in the background. <laughs> I'll have my waterfall on in the background and uh, it's a very calming, peaceful, relaxing moment until of course the dogs bark. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching this video. This one actually probably was my favorite today. I really enjoyed putting this video together. I think because I'm just so happy with this room. I feel so chill and zen. So if you did enjoy watching it and you've got some tips or some ideas for your own home, consider subscribing and hit the little bell so you'll get notifications for when I upload in the future. I do upload every Sunday, either a DIY or a makeover, and during the week it will be a vlog. So thank you for watching again and have a great week.